What's up, you guys? So when I was doing some research about what videos to make, I realized I never made a video about pros and cons of UCR. So today I'm basically discussing the cons of UCR and what you should look for if you're trying to attend UCR. If you guys are new here, my name is Viraj. I'm a current business student at UCR. And if you guys like what you're seeing, be free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Now, one of the biggest cons I know that everyone really talks about when they think about UCR, about 50 to 75% of students do not live on campus. And a lot of students commute from other parts of the Inland Empire around UCR. Parent people really just go to school and don't really engage with the clubs and activities on campus, which can kind of lead to, you know, it not being as lively on the weekends. And if you're not living on campus and you're living someone off campus, you might feel a little bit lonely as well. But there's nothing to say that you can't join extracurricular groups like the student government on campus, like ASSCR, or there's nothing to say that you can't do anything to involve yourself as well. But that's one of the biggest tips that I've heard. Another thing that is a big deterrent people not attending UCR is the location. Now, to be honest, I know that there's a whole conception that Riverside is hot, but to be honest, it's not as hot as you might. The big thing is that it's very, very dry since it's a desert. So there is a high chance that your nose will get stuffy and that you will need some sort of air purifier to help you. And not to mention that on the topic of air purifiers, it is also very polluted. So it's important that try to keep yourself healthy and also be aware of the fact that, you know, you're not living in the best conditions as you might be. Another thing that people talk about when they think about UCR is its prestige. Now, everyone knows that UCR isn't UCLA or UC Berkeley, but there's a conception that, you know, we aren't the best or that we aren't the smartest school. To be honest, there's people who go from the schools who work at firms like Deloitte, Goldman Sachs, Google, Amazon, Apple, to name a few, but it's a conception that's there. And I would like to say that even though there are a lot of students that come into that, you kind of also have to be you know, a perfect candidate for the job as well. So really invest your time and really invest your resources into doing that. But the thing is that there might not be students who do that because they might only be attending school and not really engaging in extracurricular activities and searching for internships and real world work experience as well. So I think when it comes to, you know, the idea of professional work experience, make sure that you're looking into those experiences and, and making yourself a competitive applicant to these jobs, even without the support of the school or your co classmates as well. Another thing that I'd like to mention as well that a lot of people talk about when they talk about UCR is also the crime rates. Now, when it comes to other UC schools like UC Berkeley, UCLA, UC Davis, there are schools that are in urban areas, but even though Riverside isn't directly in the city, there are a lot of crime rates and there's a lot of homeless issues over there as well. Now, I'm not gonna say that every school is perfect, but I will say that's one cautionary tale that I see a lot of people are talking about. And it's something that I recommend that you look into. Now, if you live on campus, the homelessness problem isn't an issue, but there are times when but are lurking around the campus. This might, might not just be limited to just homelessness as an issue, but also the idea of, you know, there being a lot of visitors, a lot of guests. So being that UCR is sort of a small campus, that might be something to take into account. And even the fact that, you know, on the weekends as well, there is times when there are homeless, homeless people around the campus. And if you're trying to explore the campus and, you know, you're alone or it's late at night, I'd recommend, you know, you kind of take that as a cautionary tale as I said before. And the last con that I think a lot of people at UCR have is of course, the competitiveness of the school. Now, UCR isn't the most competitive school and firms kind of realize that. So a lot of recruiters don't really tend to go to UCR and host events. I know for companies like uh, the big four accounting companies or the big three consulting firms, they don't have a lot of recruiters for UCR because they realize there's not that much of a market over there and nobody really wants to drive an hour away from LA to Riverside. So my advice is to, as this is before, really network and really be able to keep your foot in the gas when it comes to career and personal development and make sure that even though the recruiters might not come, there are plenty of firms that come to UCR that might not be, you know, big four. Uh, if you're an accounting major, there's, there's RSM. If you're into the supply chain, you know, there's DHL and Target. So there's a lot of opportunities for students to be employed on campus and gain that internship experience, but it might not be the firms that you're looking for per se and might not be as prestigious. So so be sure to take that into account when you're looking for a job and also when you're looking to attend UCR. But if you guys have any more questions about UCR and anything in particular, for sure let me know in the comments down below. That's to be of any help and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know that we are closing in that 400 subscriber mark so I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button and honestly I really want to thank you guys so much for hitting 100,000 views. It means a lot to me that we were able to do that in such a small amount of time and I really want to thank you guys on the bottom of my heart for just you know viewing and really being you know this great audience. And I just want to thank you guys a lot for that. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.